So next topic is interfacing CAD with FEA. So of how to interface CAD to the finite element analysis tool. So in our syllabus it is given us new CAD machine software using FEA. CAD machine software having FEA capability. So we know that CAD is used for producing or creating design details as well as a realistic 3D model of objects. CAD can produce detailed design, perform detailed design of a product as well as it can give a 3D image of that particular product. And finite element analysis helps to identify or to test the behavior of that particular component to different real world forces like stress, strain, heat, etc. So, in finite element analysis, so the FEA, finite element ana analysis, performs all these analysis on a model of the component. So, FEA tool first do performs discretization. It divides a continuous object into a number of finite elements. Thereafter, calculates the behavior of each of the element. So, for that, FEA initially needs a model. So, FEA itself have model generation capabilities. There are tools in finite element analysis software for generating models. But, we can interface the CAD software with finite element analysis tool. So, we initially, in the initial part of design of any product, we will use CAD for performing the design. So, we will have the design details in CAD, the, all the design details of that machine plus a 3D model. So this same model produced in CAD can be used for analyzing it using finite element two. So the model, 3D CAD model can be exported to finite element analysis tool for analyzing purpose. Okay. So we have already said that a CAD performs all the design calculations and a model is also produced. And all these works, all these works done by CAD are in a manufacturing point of view in order to physically manufacture that particular product. So the CAD model will be a very detailed model. It will incorporate all the details needed for manufacturing that particular component. So it will be a very complex structure. It contains very small, small uh, data which are needed for manufacturing that particular component. So if we directly transport, directly export that particular model to finite element analysis, it will be very difficult or complicated for the FEA tool to analyze that particular model. So, in the case of manufacturing point of view, physically a model on the other all details a CAD model na thonda irikkum so athrayum detailed aayittu oru model ne fea tool vechittu mesh cheyyo annalladu difficult aanu so what is done is first of all we will transport that cad model to finite element analysis tool and we will check how will be the mesh if we are doing meshing on that particular model how will be the meshing will it be a good meshing or it will lead to poor meshing if the structure is too complicated for analyzing it using FPA, then the model is taken back to CAD platform. It is given back to the CAD platform and then the model is simplified using CAD. The simplified model is again exported. The model is re-exported to finite element analysis tool and then it is analyzed. So that is how interfacing is done. Okay. Now, the benefits of performing design and design modifications in CAD are FEA is having, the, having its own tools for developing a model. But we are using the CAD model for analysis. And also, if the model needs any modifications, then we will give that model back to CAD and that modifications are also done in CAD. So, what are the advantages of doing design and design modifications in CAD. Let us see. The design staff did not have to develop proficiency in using the model generation capabilities of FEA tool. So FEA tool itself have model generation capabilities. 
so the design staff need not be need not be experts in fea tool okay fea tool which work cheyanda oru proficiency models in, uh, design engineers in undavanda kaari illa they should be aware of the capabilities of cad only so they just have to export that models to fea the design staff update updated the models more efficiently with the more user friendly 3d cad tool user interface so as we are modeling that particular component using cad it can be user friendly it is more user friendly okay cad fea kal fea etra perku ariyamo adinekal kududal perku cad ariyam irikkum so cad therna design details um aa cad therna model um kududal perku interpret cheyan pattu so it will be more user friendly the cad model will be more user friendly compared to a model generated by finite element tool okay then complete correlation between the design used for manufacturing and the design used for analysis okay so we are producing the cad design for manufacturing so that particular component is physically manufactured based on the cad drawing cad design so if we are analyzing that machine using another model if we are using another model that is generated by fea for testing that machine or for analyzing that machine there may be errors so if we export the model generated by cad into fea we can have complete correlation between both the models the model used for manufacturing as well as the model used for analysis so same model is used for manufacturing as well as analysis <coughs> so next one so we have to consider two factors why importing of oh sorry while exporting a model from cad to fea there are two important factors that has to be considered first one is model complexity so we have already discussed this point the 3d cad model is developed on a manufacturing point of view <coughs> so it contains detailed design informations like small edges small faces threaded bolt holes double edges so all these informations will be there in the cad model so if we directly export this model into the fea tool some parts will lead to poor mesh quality so if we are doing meshing on this small edges small faces holes double edges etc the resulting meshes will be poor meshes so we have to take this model back to cad platform and we have to use the feature suppression capability of cad tool and the model has to be simplified this process is known as idealization simplifying the cad model for analysis purpose is known as idealization so poor meshing a uh, complex structure aanu finite element tool ni kittiyathu engile aa structure ne meendum cad ilekku tirichu koduthittu cad ile feature suppression capability und idu pole ee small edge small faces angana ulla karyangalaike namukku suppress cheyidu kalanjittu model ne simplify cheya that process is known as idealization and the simplified model is again ex- re exported it is exported again to the fea platform so here simplification a model simplification using 3d cad tool is used here so this is the fea platform the fea screen is shown here so after this particular model is exported to fea tool fea platform from cad so thereafter we can produce, uh, we can do or we can check the quality of mesh using the fea platform fea like namukku or particular model ne kitti kaynal avada namukku mesh quality check cheyina or option undu so after checking mesh quality the fea will uh, give fea will uh, fea will highlight those parts where poor meshing may occur mle particular structure ne mesh cheyidale evide ke poor meshes varam that parts will be highlighted so those parts are shown here in red color so at, at all these parts poor meshing may occur so these are some very small parts some double edges are there some holes are there some gaps are there 
so all at all these parts poor meshing may occur so we have to simplify all these parts so for that the fea tool gives this model back to cad and in cad this model is simplified so see all parts where poor meshing occur are simplified so all these holes are removed so we can see it here all the double edges are removed so these gaps this gap this gap and this gap all these gaps are removed by flat surfaces then all the other double edges small components holes etc are removed so likewise the model can be simplified using feature suppression capabilities of cad and it can be re-exported to finite element analysis tool for further analysis so now, now the next factor that we have to consider is the cad fea model sharing so we are actually exporting a model produced in the cad to another software platform that is finite element analysis tool so we have to specify the model sorry format in which this model has to be exported so 3d cad tool supports the export and import of sorry export and import of data in several format so cad supports several data formats so there are several formats in which the model can be exported or imported so some of them are the iges format step and para solid so these are different protocols for transferring data between software packages so some of the case studies have shown that the model transfers using iges were not successful so coming to step format it is much better compared to iges but it is not completely predictable and it does not give consistent results and the best results were given by parasolid format the parasolid format provided the most accurate and consistent result so idu moonu nammal compare iges athar successful alla but step is much better than iges but not better compared to parasolid so it is not predictable and results are varying not consistent parasolid gave the most accurate result and consistent result but there is a problem with parasolid format that is it converts all units into metric units metric units means our units like kilogram uh, meter etc that is known as the metric unit uh, for kilogram for representing weight meter for representing distance or length like that that is our metric unit and some cases the english units may be used for these parameters sometimes weight can be represented using pound then length of a part using foot etc this is known as english unit so even if we are giving the input parameters in english unit the parasolid format converts all these units into metric units so that is a problem with parasolid format so these are the two factors that affecting model transferability between cad and fea two factors that are to be considered while we are transferring a model from cad to fea first one is model complexity and the second one is cad fea model sharing format okay so now let us see the meshing process in fea in detail we have already discussed about the meshing process so now let us see some more details of this meshing process so we have said any continuous object has infinite degrees of freedom if we are analyzing the object as a whole it will have infinite degrees of freedom but fem decreases the degrees of freedom from infinite to finite with the help of discretization so what is discretization any physical object is divided into a number of finite number of elements that is known as discretization or meshing in that elements are known as finite elements this process is known as discretization and that assembly of elements the resulting structure that we get is known as a mesh then so this is the meshing of a single phase transformer a single phase core type transformers is shown here that particular structure can be divided into any number of elements having any shape so elements can be of various shapes we have already said that elements can be circular 
triangular square shape or any shape it can have they can be two dimensional or three dimensional we can choose two dimensional or three dimensional elements they can be two dimensional quadrilateral or triangular like this they can be brick shape three dimensional when they are three dimensional they can be brick shaped or wedge shaped like this okay so these are known as nodes these points shown in orange color are the nodes so the original domain that is the original object that continuous object is considered as an assembly of number of such small elements and the elements are assumed to be connected together by a number of joints known as nodes so we have said that these nodes acts as pins or drops of glue that holds elements together it is assumed that one and the element is connected to its adjacent elements at the nodal points only okay and each of the element contains the material and geometrical properties a continuous object inde ella properties um ore element inum undayirikkum so the elements will have material properties like tensile strength compression strength elasticity so all the material properties and geometrical properties the elements have the material properties inside an element are assumed to be constant so one particular element inde material properties ella constant aayirikkum elasticity if we are considering elasticity it will be constant in that particular element tensile strength a particular element in other constant aayirikkum then then we can use simple algebraic equations for representing each of the element and they all these equations can be individually solved and by combining the solution to each of the element we can get the solution to the entire problem then then some factors about meshing so we have said that we can choose any shape of element any shape for meshing any element can be chosen as our decision we can decide which all elements we have to choose which shape we have to choose for doing the particular meshing process and the number of elements also it is the choice of the designer how many number of elements he have to choose so choosing a mesh having big elements big elements means number of elements will be less it will reduce the accuracy of analysis and if we are choosing a mesh that is too small that means number of elements increases that increases the computation time required for analysis so we have to make a compromise between the two we cannot make a compromise in the accuracy the our result should be accurate as well as we cannot spend much more time for doing the analysis so while choosing the number of meshes or while selecting the size of the element we should be careful we have to make a compromise between these two factors while choosing the size of the element or number of elements so next is another important function of finite element analysis tool is the gluing function gluing so this is a model of a welded steel structure which is formed in which is made using the 3d cad tool so here there are a number of welded interface like this so most of the part are welded so a cad model contains welded interface and for the fea to perform the finite element analysis or for the fea to perform the meshing process it needs a continuous object so several parts of the 3d cad model has to be glued together ottichu vekkandi varu namaku otta part aaki aakandi varu glue cheythu vekkandi varu namaku cad nu kittiya model ne so the gluing function of finite element analysis tool allows to obtain a continuous volume like this so several welded parts are glued together and then meshing process can be easily applied to this continuous volume or glued structure so this is gluing in finite element analysis tool 